All right, so I'm going to show you how to refold a gown. Now, refolding a gown, this is not something you're going to do in the hospitals. This is not something you're going to do in the clinical sites. It's something you're only going to do in your lab at school because, well, these guys are kind of expensive and we want to save your tuition money, right? We want to keep those costs down a little bit. So by refolding the gowns properly, we can reuse them and practice opening and gowning and gloving ourselves again and again by using the same gown over and over without having to use a new one every single time like we would in a real hospital. Okay, so this is again only for a lab setting. So to do this, make sure you have a nice big table. I've got a back table here, which is probably the smallest size table we want to work with. If you have an even bigger table, it's going to be even easier. But a back table, you can make do with a back table. Also, make sure you have your tag, your card, to make sure that the ties go on properly as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay the gown down with the back, this is the back side of the gown, up. All right, so this is the inside. This is where your body would go in there. We're going to lay it down this way. And then we want to find the longest and the shortest ties. Now, here's the longest tie over here. Here's the shortest one on the back of the gown itself. So we're going to bring these together, and we're going to use our card to put them together. So first, we're going to take our long tie, and we're going to fold it over slightly like this. So we're going to make a little fold like this. And we're going to feed it through our card twice. So we're going to go in from the top of the card, on that side, pull it under, and then we're going to feed it through to this side. Now what we've got done here is we now have a little opening here. We have, now have a little loop. And it is into this loop that we're going to take the short tie and just stick it in. We're not making it exactly the way it came out of the manufacturer, but it works. So we're going to pull that in, and then we're going to take this one piece here and pull it nice and tight. And that holds on, that loop then tightens around this one tie, this short tie. And we're going to lay it down right there in the center. This way, when you go to actually turn, you can grab the card and pull this short tie out very easily. All right, so the next step is to find the armpit. Now, here's the arm, and here's the armpit. And finding the armpit is going to find this ridge that runs all the way down to the bottom of the gown. We're going to pick this up like this and fold it towards us, stretching the arm out towards us this way. Then, in here, we're going to find this valley. So there's a valley in there. We're going to take this and fold it over like that. Once we have the mountain and the valley folded over, we're going to take our arm and push this over with the arm floating over the edge. So that this mountain that we first created, this one that goes under the armpit, lines up with now the edge of the gown. So it's going to line up nice and neat, just like that, with the arm hanging over the table. We're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. We're going to find our armpit. We're going to find this ridge that runs down to the bottom of the gown. Fold it over. Find this valley right here. Fold this up so that it meets. And then we're going to take our arm and this piece, fold it back over, draping the arm down. And now this is all lined up nice and neat here with this mountain, this ridge coming out from under the armpit is lined up with the edge of the gown, just like that. Now with the gown like this, we're going to take our arms and fold them over. Fold them over here. And fold them over here. At this point, we want to check our neckline to make sure that the neckline is nice and flat and neat. And especially find this Velcro tab, this one with the, the latches on it. And we're going to take that and fold it under like this so that it doesn't catch on our gown when we try to fold it up a little bit later. So with the gown nice and spread out and everything nice and neat, we're then going to fold it in half. So we're going to find about the halfway point. Take this all the way up to just about, just about the neckline. Not quite to the neckline, but just about to the neckline right about there. At this point, we're now going to fold it into thirds. And you can see there are probably some lines already in the gown where this has been done before. So we're going to fold it into thirds and thirds, like this. Okay. Now notice what we have here. We have this little fold here, and then we have another one here. We're going to fold this together, but we don't want to fold it at this point. We're actually going to fold it towards the arm side, towards the distal side, if you like that term. Okay, towards this side. So maybe you come in about two inches 
from this line on each side, and that's where we're going to make our fold over. I'll show you why in a moment. That is an important step. We're going to fold it over there. We're going to find about two inches in from that fold here. Fold this over this way. Then we're going to split it in half and fold it together. So remember that two inch fold that we just made? Well, look how it appears on the back side. You've got this two inch layer on both sides. This is now where you're going to put your hands when you put the gown on the next time. So you've got a nice pocket to put your hands into. This is a well folded gown. Now all you need to do is get yourself a drape and you're going to do your envelope fold to drape it up. 